Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As many of you know, I've been on a personal training journey. I've got a PT, I go, try to go a few times a week. I've now also started doing my level two, level three um, PT um, courses as well. Um, but today's video is not about that, but it is kind of linked to that because I was guided by my PT to stop eating bread. And I've not really had any bread for probably about two to three months now. And within that two to three months, wow, what a change. What a change in me, not just physically, but energetically. Things have been changing so much. So, when I used to eat bread, I still have a little bit now and again, but nowhere near what I used to have. I would maybe have maybe four slices of bread a day back then. Um, now I have maybe two slices a week, you know, or a fortnight, something like that. But bread, what I experienced with the bread was I, I used to really suffer with indigestion and heartburn, acid reflux. Then I stopped eating the bread, not an issue not a problem whatsoever ever since then. So there's something within the bread, there's a chemical, there's something within the bread that my body doesn't like, it doesn't agree with. Um, and if I keep it to a really low amount, then it doesn't bother me at all. So that's really good. That was a really good thing for me to discover about that. But something else that has been happening energetically, this has been kind of trippy as so. Ever since then, probably the last month, month and a half or so, I've been experiencing a lot of, a lot of stuff coming up from the gut, a lot of stuff coming up energetically from the intestines, from the stomach, and I can feel it in those areas. I can just feel the energy in the areas, and I'm listening, and I'm feeling it, and I'm speaking to it, and I'm seeing it, I'm seeing what it is. So just the other day, I had, I have a lot, I get a lot of feelings of lack of self-worth, lack of, you know, all that sort of stuff. And, you know, I recently did a video about procrastination that came up with a lot of stuff as well, which in that video, I talked a lot about this when I was speaking to the procrastination, which is in itself is an entity. But this time I was getting this feeling of like, well, why can't I just like let go? Why can't I just let go of, of this or be aware of that and just, you know, just push that all away and move on to in, in the direction that I need to go, that I want to go. The thing in question is I really want to just stop working altogether and do my, you know, do, do content, do social media. I want to um, focus on the Reiki. I want to focus on the healing. I want to do all of that and just do it full time for me. That's what I want to do going forward. But something keeps stopping me. The fear keeps stopping me. So again, I was speaking to the fear. You know, this is where this is where a lot of people don't want to look. They don't want to look at the fear. They don't want to speak to it. So I was speaking to the fear. I said, so what is it? Why am I so fearful of letting go? Why am I so fearful of being able to just accept and trust myself? And again, this self-worth thing came up again. And, and I was like, okay, so show me, show me where this is coming from. And I was taken back in time to, it looked like a ship, like an old ship. Um, and you know, when you see in the movies where you've got like the, the slaves kind of like pushing the big wheel around, you know, to, to move the ship forward or, I don't know what it, I don't know what that is, but they're all pushing the, the wheel round on the ship to, to me, or maybe is it for the anchor or something like that. I didn't know what it was for specifically. I just saw me as a woman um, and I had a child with me and there was other, there was like men, women, there was a full range of people that were there and they were all pushing this, trying to get it round and we're all just being lashed and whipped. You know, I could see the blood pouring from my back. I could see, just see, I was just in rags, basically. My hair was uh, just a state. It was long, black, of just like, just, and it was just like, you just treated like piece of meat. You know, you just 
worthless, absolutely worthless, and all you had to do was push this thing round. And and that's where it was coming from. That's where this vision was coming from. It was coming from that time. It was coming from a past life. It was coming from some level of awareness that was in me, within me. And it was only yesterday, I'm not sure when this video is gonna go out, but yesterday being the 15th of October, um, this will probably go out in a couple of weeks time, so, um, but the 15th of October, I went to go and visit my friends, uh, Claire Thackeray and Kirsty Hines down in Lincoln. So I had a lovely drive down there and we had a nice drive down there and we were talking about food and how food, food well, everything really has been hijacked. You know, the food system has been hijacked. It's full of so much crap that's not good for us that has a detrimental effect on our health. And I was talking about the bread thing and how I've stopped eating the bread and and how it's really helped my digestion, but then how all this stuff has started coming up. And Claire said, she said, it's funny that, isn't it? Because she said, you know, they talk about digestion and and how we how we normally digest things. But when you stop something that's maybe having giving you an issue with digestion and you stop it, all this stuff starts to come up. And I thought, that's a really, really good point. And that's why I had to make a video on it today. Um, the, a lot of these foods that we're consuming, that, that this food system that's been hijacked, because vegetables don't taste like vegetables that they used to. They're not like homegrown, like proper, you know, they used to taste of something. Now, the food industry, there is no, there's very little nutrients in it, very little taste to it, and it doesn't taste anything like it used to. You know, our grandparents, used to grow everything in their gardens, you know, and that's where the nutrition came from. Maybe it's because the farmer's fields have been so sp sprayed with so much crap and chemicals and nitrates and all that over the years that maybe the earth itself is losing its effectiveness to grow healthy fruit and veg. Maybe it's something else that's going into the ground. You know, maybe it's the stuff from the skies that's getting sprayed down that's affecting the food that is, is having an effect. Maybe it's stuff that's actually being injected into the food. I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. But there is something within it. There is something within the food industry that is blocking us energetically. Because since stopping the bread, all of this stuff, all of this healing has started to take place. And it's only since I've put them two things together that I've realized that there is something else bigger going on internally to do with food to do with what we're taking into our bodies. So having more wholesome food, having more natural food, not processed crap, the shit that's ready in a packet, you know, that is not made, it's not made for your best interests. It's it's made for mass, it's made for, the, it's made in ma mass production, you know, so it's, it's, it's not good stuff. It's just crap, it's cheap crap that's been chucked in. Making stuff from scratch again, that's where we need to be. Getting rid of a lot of the heavy, uh, bad carbohydrates as well, because they're blocking something, you know, and that is what the bread was doing for me. It was blocking something in me. And since stopping the bread, this is what is going on. This is what is taking place. So we just need to be, I think we just need to be more mindful of what we're putting in here, because what we put in here, what we put in here, what we put in here, Consumption isn't just about food, it's about what we see, it's about what we hear, it's about what we're taking in, it's about the fear from the screen, it's about the shock that we hear all around us, it's about the people that we see all around us that may display some level of something that creates shock, that creates fear, you know, creates disharmony. That as well, so not just the stuff that we're eating, but the stuff we're in, we, we are taking in, consuming on a grander level is blocking our energy. So just be mindful of that and just be careful with that. And that's the only reason why I wanted to make this video today was just to be aware of of that and something that something that we think of that we've just eaten for so long that is actually it's 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 fine, it's doing us good. But then you take it away and you stop having these physical reactions. So for me the indigestion and what have you and then to go to a deeper level after that with an energetic thing, 
you know, so it goes past the physical, the physical's healed itself, now the energetic is healing itself, and it's healing itself of, of past lives, it's healing itself of other things. The food industry doesn't want us healthy, the food industry doesn't want us to be able to heal ourselves. That is the trouble, and that is the trouble with a lot of stuff. So then we have to ask the question, well, where do we look? Where do we go? What do we do? And I think it's you know homegrown. You know, we see a lot of people now that are doing their own growing at home, they're doing their own stuff. And yeah, I think um I think that's where it's at. So just a few thoughts. Just a few thoughts. But I just wanted to share that with regards to the bread and the stuff that's that's just been coming up for me healing i'm feeling i'm feeling really really good even people say to us i look younger i look different and that's from doing the exercise it's from eating better it's from looking after myself my mental health doing the meditation doing the reiki focusing on me focusing on number one and trying to just you know we we can't stop everything from coming in but keeping everything at a distance or reducing the intake of things that is going to affect your wellness wellness is is it's not just one thing it's everything you know it's a holistic journey it really is so until the next video much love do take care yourselves and you know comment below let me know your thoughts on this have you experienced anything with regards to food when you stopped eating it and maybe this video has made you think oh actually hang on a minute something did happen for me comment below let us know it'd be really really interesting to find out what's happened for you See you in the next video. Bye.